Tips for networking at conferences and professional meetings. Your attendance at conferences and professional meetings means you have the potential to connect with individuals who can positively impact your career preparation and future job search. Research tells us that nearly 65 to 85% of jobs and other opportunities too are acquired through networking. When attending conferences and professional meetings, the key to effective networking is to do a little pre-work to prepare. Before you take off, take time to develop your networking goals. You might happen to meet some interesting people by chance, but you can also plan to connect with individuals who are of most interest to you. Go to the conference or professional meeting website and begin to review the session descriptions and become familiar with the layout of each day. Identify presenters with whom you would like to connect and make it a point to attend their sessions and speak with them. Think about what you want to learn and who you want to meet. Consider setting a goal for each day. See if any of your LinkedIn or ResearchGate contacts are also attending and consider arranging a time to meet in person. If potential employers are in attendance, research those of interest and prepare to speak with them about opportunities. If you intend to add new connections to your social media, make sure that your content is up to date. During the conference, there are endless opportunities to network. Some of the opportunities might be built into the conference schedule, things like receptions and meals, while other opportunities will emerge as you attend conference sessions. Where there are people, there is always the potential to network. It might feel unnatural to approach others whom you don't know. Having a few questions to initiate conversations can help facilitate your networking. You might consider asking one of the following open-ended questions. What are you most interested in at this year's conference? Which sessions do you think you will attend this afternoon? On what is your work or research focused? Be prepared to share a bit about yourself as well. You should be able to answer the same questions that you ask others. Another tip is to always sit next to other people and to resist the temptation to sit alone. When you sit down with others, you can share your interest in the particular presentation and ask what interests them about it. Asking people questions is a great way to connect and to put networking into motion. People are usually eager to share when they feel someone is genuinely interested or curious. A lot of conferences and professional meetings bring you to locations that are unfamiliar to you. Perhaps a country or city that you have never traveled? If this is the case, consider seeing if there are any colleges or universities in the area and offer to guest teach or to conduct a presentation within your academic area or field of study. Even consider reaching out to arrange a visit with a junior faculty member who might share your research interest. Building in time to do a couple of informational interviews with a contact in a company or organization might also be possible. Usually you know where next year's conference is going to be, so you can do some research to find people outside of the conference with whom you might also want to connect. Think about ways to maximize your time in the location and not solely on attending the conference. It is common to return from a conference with some new contacts, but then easy to forget about them. On your trip home, consider identifying some action steps that will keep your communication alive with your newfound friends or academic colleagues. Perhaps there are some people you wish to add to your network, or maybe you promised someone you would send them a particular article. Follow up on your action items and then create a nudge me plan to periodically update, follow up, ask questions, and connect with the individuals you met. What is particularly interesting about meeting new people is that someone you meet might be the pathway to an internship, a postdoc opportunity, fellowship, or a job. When effectively networking, you will have a team of people who are interested in being a resource to you and who are genuinely interested in your next steps and success.